Welcome to my Fox 10. Welcome back. I hope you had a wonderful Sunday so far and we're starting to see more rain develop throughout the Wabash Valley as we head into tonight and it'll continue into the overnight hours. So yeah, that is exactly what we're tracking is that rain moving on in and tomorrow we'll be discussing a chance for some thunderstorms also as we have a lot of energy to work with and some strong wind. So I'll be discuss discussing that in just a moment. But then it settles down by the end of the work week, which would be nice to get back out there to the Covered Bridge Festival and really enjoy your Thursday and Friday. Until then, yeah, rain. And you can see this on the Storm Team 10 Storm Tracker. This is all shooting off to the northeast. That heavy rainfall now starting to approach portions of Indianapolis, though we do have some rain just to the north of Terre Haute. You can see that off to the east of Rockville there. This will be hitting towards around uh, Waveland off to the east, uh, still further off to the north there by Vermilion County too the north portion of Vermilion County and not just there. We do have that through portions of Owen County and pushing into Monroe County there in Bloomington. Not a lot of heavy rainfall still though a decent amount of rain throughout the region. You can see a wide view of that. It's all pretty scattered. Even some thunderstorms off to the southeast section of Indiana. Our current conditions in the upper 50s. We do have a light rain here in Terre Haute that will be kind of drying up here over the next few minutes, though. Uh, south wind right around five miles per hour. Humidity at 90 percent and it's just gloomy and overcast. We'll continue to see that uh, as we head through the overnight and into our Monday. 59 degrees of Rockville, 58 in Paris. A matter of fact, our temperatures aren't going to cool off much more than this in the overnight hours. We could actually see these temperatures start to rise as a warm front really pushes on in. We'll have the wind out of the south that's going to help warm us up and we'll be in the 70s for our Monday. It's going to feel nice out there, but it's going to be cloudy and rainy too. Here's the clouds radar over the last few hours. You'll notice that heavier rainfall, more widespread rainfall off to the west. That is the next system that we're going to watch roll on in. We do have a low pressure off to the southeast and they'll continue to drive this moisture in. We look at the future cast right around 11 o'clock. It's painting those pockets of rain throughout the Wabash Valley. We get it to tomorrow morning. There's some areas right there that could uh, produce a good amount of moisture and we can't even roll rule out a thunderstorm for the early morning hours. I'm going to leave the total amount of rain down for the morning, but still by the time we reach our evening and into the overnight, some heavier rainfall. Lows tonight in the mid 50s to the upper 50s. Here's a look at the precipitation tracker as we head through the day. This is this could change if you fall underneath one of those heavier rainfalls, uh, but most of the heavy rain will be further on into the evening as we break down into our Monday. Here's the future cast. Here's that widespread rain. That's the low pressure system that will drag right on through. Those stronger storms will be pushing through as we get into our late Monday. And as we get into our Tuesday, we'll start to notice that. We do have a slight risk for severe weather. That's in the yellow section there. Tonight will be falling out to 56 degrees. Look at the seven day forecast. Rain until Wednesday. We dry up by Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. A nice weekend for next weekend in the upper 60s and full of sunshine. Stick around though. We'll have more just after the break.